Well, hey there, and hello to you today. Welcome to episode 33 of the Prayer Podcast. I am so grateful that you're listening today. I really do mean it when I say that. Um, I'd love to know where you're listening from. If you could maybe find a way to let me know, leave a comment about where you listen from. I'm in sunny Wichita, Kansas, right in the middle of the United States. I'm enjoying the spring weather and uh, expecting us to have a toasty hot summer here in South Central Kansas, per the usual. Um, where are you listening from and what kind of summer weather are you expecting to get? Okay, so today I'd like to share a few verses with you that are, they're super encouraging. I'm just going to put it that way. These are really encouraging verses for us in terms of prayer, regarding prayer. The first verse I'm going to share is from the book of Jeremiah. You know, we're going to look at um, Jeremiah on uh, the Burt Not Ernie Show podcast this week as well. So it's kind of um, kind of coincidental that I'm mentioning a verse from Jeremiah on this show as well. But we're going to look at chapter 33, verse 3. It's a somewhat well-known verse. So it might already be familiar to you. It's probably been mentioned in sermons that you've heard. Maybe you've seen it on a social media post. It's definitely been referenced in devotionals that you've read, like daily devotional type things. So uh, it's a very well-known verse. I'm not mentioning it today because it's just super familiar because of its um, commonness, if you will, I guess, common to us, well-known. I'm mentioning it because it's so encouraging. Here is what it says. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 in the NLT says this, ask me, and that's a capital M. So this is God speaking. Ask me, and I will tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come. And there's that word will. There's that word will. When God says will in a verse, when he makes a promise using the word will, he really does mean it. He's going to do it. This is an actual verse in the actual Bible, and God is the one speaking in this verse. Call to me is what he says. Ask me. Then he goes on to promise that he will tell you remarkable secrets, things you do not know about things to come. This is profound. We worship the Lord God of heaven's armies. We stand amazed and in complete and utter awe of him. And that is exactly as it should be. We should never cease to be in awe and amazed at God. We're not going to be like, meh, it's exactly what I expected when we meet him in eternity. We are going to be floored. And I mean that literally like on our faces, floored when we enter the presence of the Lord God most high, of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, like the one who watches over Israel does not sleep and does not slumber. That's whose presence we're going to enter into and we will be floored. So a verse like this one, it can feel like, um, man, it can hit you kind of right between the eyes. Like, whoa, how can this be true? I can ask that same God that I'm continually in awe of to tell me secrets about the future. And he says that he'll do it. Yes, yes, this is true. It's true because God says so right here in Jeremiah. So today, right now, my question for you is this. Are you willing to be bold and brave enough in your faith to believe that this is true for you because it does take some boldness and some braveness. It does take us to be like, take us to be like, that's not, um, that's bad grammar, Jan. It does take some self challenging, like an introspective look at our faith, at the amount of our faith, the size of our faith. Like, is it, is it mustard seed size and pure? Do we have enough faith to say, yeah, this is true, not just overarchingly archingly true, but this is true for me. You know, if you will do the asking, if you will call out to God in prayer, this verse says, it's a promise, he will tell you remarkable secrets that you don't know yet about things which are to come. You and I, we don't really know what's coming around the corner. And the fact that God promises to tell us things that are remarkable, remarkable secrets, think about what this means regarding your relationship with God and how he values that relationship. He wants to be close to you and he wants to tell you remarkable secrets about what's to come. All you have to do is ask, get close to him, draw near to him and do the asking. I think we all have areas in our life where we really do need the Lord's wisdom. I sure do. I want to encourage you today to ask for his wisdom where you need it and pray really boldly. Ask him to tell you secrets about what's coming based on what his word says here in Jeremiah 33. I think that we can trust the God who puts a verse like this in his word 
puts it there for us to read and for us to believe. We can trust him fully with all the things that we bring to him in prayer. Now, I, you know, it's easy to pray and not fully trust. I'm not the only one that experiences this. I know it for a fact. When we get super honest, we can admit that this is true. I can pray and still not be fully trusting God with the thing I've just prayed for. It's harder to pray and trust him completely with the things that weigh on us that we're concerned about. We're concerned enough about them to pray about them, and it can be hard to fully trust him with those things. As ridiculous as that sounds, it's so true. Let's pray big today, and let's trust big today, because we are praying to a good God, and we are trusting the one who promises to tell us what we need to know, and even more than that, to tell us remarkable secrets about what is to come. Um, okay, I'm going to also read from Psalm 86. I'm going to put the entire psalm in the show notes, but I'm just going to read a few verses from this psalm out loud on this episode today. Uh, but you can look through the show notes if you'd like and see the whole psalm. Still in the New Living Translation, Psalm 86 verse 1 says this, Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Okay, so right off the bat, we know that the psalmist is praying over some things that are weighing heavily on him. I think you can see a theme in today's episode. What's weighing on you is what I want to encourage you to be praying about. Can you and I go to prayer, go to the Lord in prayer when things in life get heavy? Verse 3 says, be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am calling on you constantly. This is this is something that's that's weighing on him enough that he's got to keep talking to God about it. Like, this isn't just going away. I'm going to keep calling on you constantly. Verses six and seven, listen closely to my prayer, or O Lord, hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble, and you will answer me. That's beautiful. I want you to go back and read that in the show notes if you possibly can, or read Psalm 86 in whatever version of the Bible you have available to you, like read it in your daily quiet time, read it tonight before bed. Verse 11, teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. And verses 16 through 17a, just the first portion of verse 17. Look down and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. You know, as I have been working on this episode, I have been praying this psalm over several people uh, who I know, like in real life, who are facing some really hard things right now. I've also prayed it broadly over anybody and everybody who will listen to this episode whenever they listen to it, now or in the future. Uh, you're not alone. You're not forgotten. And the God to whom David was praying when he penned these words, it's the same God that I have been praying to about you. And I have prayed this over you because you're listening. So it's been prayed over you. That God still moves mountains, my friend. He still parts the seas. He still hears and he still answers prayer. And his love for you is absolutely unending. And so whatever's weighing on you, take it to him in prayer today. Ask him for wisdom for what you need and ask him to give you what he's promised to give you, to give you insights about what's coming, to share with you remarkable secrets as you stick so close to him and trust him completely with the things you bring to him in prayer. As always, you can email me at Jan. L, that's like middle initial L, Jan L Burt, B U R T, at Outlook.com with any prayer requests you have. And I commit to praying for every prayer request I receive. Also, I'm going to put a link in the show notes where you can directly just click on it and directly send me your prayer request. And um, I pray for everyone I get. I say that always because it's always true. I am praying and believing as I pray and seeking the God of the Bible to move on your behalf in whatever you're facing right now. Thank you so much for listening today from wherever you are in the world. I'll see you back here next time. Lord bless. Bye-bye.